Hi everybody, welcome to Makeup Munchies and More. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for joining me today. It is almost May. I usually change out my purses for the summer in May. And I thought that I would show you what is in my winter purse before I change it out for my summer purse. So this and is my purse. It's a Henry Bendel Jet Setter Mini backpack slash um, crossbody bag. It's convertible. Right now I have it in the backpack form. And it's a nice tiny little bag. It's made out of um, vinyl, I think. And this is some sort of leather. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a specially pressed leather. It feels plas like plastic. It's really durable, but it is in fact leather. It has this little uh, lock embellishment. And it's got the um, Henry Bendel tag there. The first YouTuber that I ever really watched, beauty guru YouTuber, was Coffee Break with Danny, and she had this large black version of this jet setter and I fell in love with the bag especially because it has gold hardware and I had to have one but I didn't really need the large bag she used it as a diaper bag I don't have children so I didn't need one that big this one does me just fine it's got these handles as well the handles have a snap here so they are when you're using it as a backpack they're not flopping around anywhere they're nice and sturdy because of that processed leather and it's just a nice taupe color. It's again durable and it's easy to clean. Inside it's this lovely royal purple color but I'll show you that at the end because right now it's jam-packed with crapola. <laughs> so let's just get right into it. First things first that I grabbed is my little makeup bag. You've seen it in my last What's in My Bag. This is from Walmart and right now I'm carrying around with me a dirty Real Technique sponge, my Touch Up Fit Me Matte and Poreless Concealer in Transparent, IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil, IT Cosmetics Neutral Medium Bye Bye Under Eye, which I use as concealer slash foundation if I'm in a pinch, a sample size of La Petite Robe Noir from Guerlain. I've never used this. It's like an emergency perfume. My NYX Micro Brow pencil in brunette. I'm obsessed with my eyebrows. My number one worry in life, I know, poor me, is that my eyebrow will rub off during the day and I'll be without brow product to fix it. So hence all the eyebrow products. Um, this was from Makeup Forever. Uh, it used to be my holy grail type brow pencil, but now I've, I'm using others. So it's just half. I didn't want to throw it out. I want to use it up. This is an Essence liquid lipstick. I don't know what shade it is, but it's a um, neutral, your lips but better kind of a shade. It's a little swatch. I have a little tiny pair of tweezers that I got ages ago, like I'm talking over 10 years ago, from one of the Benefit eyebrow kits. If I lost that tweezer, I don't know what I would do. A broken metal nail file. And just because it's broken on the handle doesn't mean it doesn't work, so we keep it. So that was my emergency makeup kit. Then I have my little Michaels notebook stuff to do. I just, oh, there we go. I write my grocery lists or shopping lists. I have this jeweled pen that I got from Dollar Tree. As you can see, some of the jewels are falling out, but it's still really blingy and it makes me happy when I go to use it, obviously. I like pink. And then these I've been carrying around with me forever. I keep forgetting to scratch them with my grandfather, but as luck has it, today I am at his condo and I'm going to make sure that we scratch these. I'll let you know if we win anything. I have my wallet. It's just an Olivia and Joy faux leather wallet that I picked up at Marshall's, I believe, last year. I got it because it is red inside and Chinese superstition says that your wallet should be red. That means it will always be full and hey, you know, who doesn't love money? This is one of two little organizational packs that I also bought at the Dollar Tree and they've they've done well by me. The zippers work really well. It was two for $1.25. I've had no problems. The finish is still great. It's not 
pilling or sometimes they get furry when they rub against things or pull. These are just fine. They look just as good as the first day that I bought them. So I have my walk of shame little mini toothbrushes. That's what my cousin calls them. I have a sweet pea antibacterial gel from Bath and Body Works that I'm trying to finish. I have some emergency dental floss and I have some of this Icy Breeze Cinnamon Breath Spray that I got at Dollar Tree in Buffalo. And I just sprayed half of my face. Now you know why I don't show my face, because I do stupid things like that. But oh my god, that tastes so good. And then here in the larger one, I have some larger items, obviously. I have a selection of feminine products. To go with those, I have some Advil because you never know when that headache or cramp is going to start up. I have a package of Kleenex. I am like the Kleenex queen. I love Kleenex. I have a Tide to go because in an emergency, this really works wonders. I have some Band-Aids. And I don't know if you can see, but they're Minions. Got those at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I have some wet ones in a little Ziploc that I'm going to keep just in case. Some... Um, eye drops for when my eyes get dry if I'm wearing contacts. I have, oh, what is this? Defy, Defy Flexible Styling and Finishing Spray. Ah, this is interesting. I think I got this in a subscription box a long, long time ago because I haven't had a subscription box in over a year and a half. But it's a good thing to have on hand. I have a little and some Burt's Bees Strawberry Lip Balm. The side of my face is tingling yet numb right now <laughs> from that breath spray. Let me just reach in here. Oh, I have, you've seen this before. If you watch my channel, it's just my little pop-up brush and mirror. It's got a little spot for elastics and barrettes. It's a little emergency kit from my cousin's office. It's got a little carabiner here. You can clip it anywhere you want. And a little zipper. Let's see what's inside. It's a little promo item she just gave me. Uh, there are some little band-aids. Larger ones. Regular size ones. That's a lot of band-aid. Those are awesome. Some antiseptic cleaning wipes. Some sting relief medicated pads and some alcohol prep pads. Not bad. I have a Starbucks receipt and an Egg Smart receipt. Starbucks, I went for a coffee the other day, and my grandfather and I went to Egg Smart today for breakfast. And I paid. <laughs> I don't know if you ever have fights with your parents or grandparents about who's going to pay. No, I'm going to pay. No, I'm going to pay. Put your money down. You start yelling. Maybe it's just a Greek or Italian thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we were fighting. I said I had the bill. I invited him out, but he could pay for my next Dollarama purchase, and he was happy with that trade-off. <laughs> I have a pen again from my cousin's office. It's branded, so I won't show you that side, but it's a Bic pen. It's really nice, black ink, very hefty, and it has this rubber grip. It's a really good pen. My Lemoncello pocket back from Bath & Body Works. I'm almost done, so it's almost time to start a new one once I finish that other sweet pea as well. My little pocket mirror that I got from Dollarama. Ooh, it's like a kaleidoscope. It's got the magnified mirror, the regular mirror, and the Union Jack. My carabiner of points cards and gift cards. So I have gift cards. I have Williams Sonoma. I have some restaurant cards that I had gotten from work as a gift uh, coach. I've had this coach gift card for over two years. I have not used it yet. Um, a beauty boutique gift card in Ikea. And then here I've got some points cards. I've got Best Buy, the TJ style card, my body shop card, everything is upside down. My plum rewards, that's Chapters Indigo. Bittersweet, which is a jewelry store. The Soup Nutsy, it's a little takeout place with a lot of soups, different soups. They have mulligatawny if you watch uh, Seinfeld. <laughs> I don't think I ever had that. Next time I go downtown, I'll have to have that. 
And this is my go-to tinted lip balm. If I don't want to bring a lipstick with me, this stuff is great. It's the rose color and it's it's like a gloss. That's how much color it has on it. I think I've shown it before on my what's in my bag video, but it doesn't look like much here, but when I put it on my lips, which are slightly pigmented already, rosy, um, this really amplifies them and I really don't need to carry a gloss or a lipstick with me. I have a vitamin C drop, some gum, the Clinique Black Honey, um, what's it called, more than lipstick or almost lipstick. This stuff is so beautiful on every skin tone. It is probably my holy grail gloss. I'm going to call it a gloss. It's not really a lipstick. Look at how dark it is. It's this dark berry color and it looks like it would be a fall winter type of a color, opaque, but it's not. It's the sheerest, most lovely color. See how sheer it is? It's just a beautiful, beautiful berry stain. Salma Hayek, a few years ago, had stated that it was her go-to Holy Grail lip color, and you know she's gorgeous, so I thought, I want to look like Salma Hayek, and I bought it, and I fell in love with it. It is truly beautiful. It's Estee Edit Flash Photo Gloss. I got this as a perk, I think, from Sephora around Christmas time. I've, To be honest, I've never used it. It's supposed to make your teeth look whiter, it's just a milky gloss. You can't even see it right there. Clean Skin Rollerball. It's a sample size. I got it in a pack of three at Christmas or uh, Boxing Day. I will link that up here, that Sephora haul, if you're interested in seeing that. And it smells really good. Obviously, the clean line, it just smells clean. This is, I can't even describe it. It, it just makes you smell like you just took a bath or ran through a field of wildflowers. That's all I had in my purse. If you want to take a peek inside, look at that beautiful color. The lining is gorgeous. It's a small zip pocket with the branding here. This is Henry Bendel. There's this cute little bow. And then on the other side, it just has this little phone pocket right there. You can also use this pocket. I use it for my cell phone. I don't have it handy, but that's what that is like. And the cell phone will peek out a little bit. Or you can put it close to your body. There's another little pocket here. So there are enough pockets, but the front and the back pocket are just not practical. They should have had another pocket or a wider, more divided pocket here. I don't know. I'm just, I love pockets. I love to fill up pockets. So that is my bag. I hope you enjoyed my junk. <laughs> it's useful junk. Have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.